All right, so I just got word that the place I'm in is haunted, really haunted. It's been a hospice for, I don't know, maybe all its, uh, basically all its existence, which goes all the way back into the 60s, I believe. <clears throat> it's built like, you know, it's kind of like got the 1970s, 1960s architecture going on. And back then, they built hospitals where hospitals had been traditionally before that. So, back in the day, they used to bury hosp- bury people when they died right behind the hospital. Alright? And so, some of these little hospitals, back then they were normal size hospitals, but today, they're, they're like hospices or they're health care, so home health care, or they're not, excuse me, they're um, a hospice. I said that. <laughs> uh for people who are there to get like therapy and elderly people so we call them I don't like to call them old folks home because they're not filled with old people they're filled with different kinds of people so but anyways so it's an old folks home and let me just show it to you real quick now in my room I keep getting this haze but if you look out here there's no haze nobody smokes inside so there's no reason why there should be a haze inside the, inside the building but they told me that this place had that one time they even had a priest who came and blessed it. He walked through and blessed it and basically did an exorcism. They didn't want to use the word exorcism. They said blessed the place. But that's an exorcism. Whenever you have a priest, a priest come and basically curse the devil and call blessings upon the place, it's a form of an exorcism. Um, so they were just kind of, let me show you something. Here's the building. And so, you know, Cali Paranormal, I, I, I told my, it was my, I'm not going to say who told me, who gave me the information, but I told them that, uh, basically Cali Paranormal was going to go ahead and open an investigation. So, <laughs> You can welcome, welcome to uh, our investigation. I don't know what that sound was. But... Anyways, so what are the facts? The facts are this is a hospice. The facts are people are seeing ghosts. Um, one of the stories was that the lady was working over here. Okay, so that's a therapy center. Hold on a second. So that's a therapy center. And so the lady who's working in the therapy center, as you can see, is separate from the big building. Hold on a second. Let me shift it. Okay. So someone's staring at me, and that's why I'm staring back. Because <laughs> sound carries, and I don't want them to know that I'm actually over here kind of trying to film a ghost. So they see lots of different types of people, um, but one of them is a black apparition. Um, also, I had run in, I don't really like to put my own experiences, but I had like a situation in my room. Uh, the situation in the therapy center, this building over here. So the ladies are out here at night, sometimes by themselves. And she saw someone walk by and she thought it was her coworker. And when she saw her coworker, she said, how'd you get over here? She's like, what do you mean? So I just saw you walk by me. Nah. And the figure was dressed in black and her coworker wears black. So that was one. And um, several of the ladies said that they have, uh, one of the ladies said that she was in this building. She was um, just tidying up for the, for the night, you know. And the machine, the, in the bathroom where you, put your hand in front of the machine and the, and the paper comes out, kept going over and over and over and over again because something's standing in front of it. The only way it can go is that something has to cross in front of it. And it, it basically kind of like harassed her for a while. And so she got, a, she got, she didn't say she had a very bad feeling about that, but it spooked her. So all the ladies have had spooky experiences, and I had my one too, but we'll save mine for another time. All right, so let me just show you the place again that 
uh, and let you know that Cali Paranormal is officially opening a paranormal investigation. We're going to be looking for some footage, something that captured. Um, one of them is this haze that I'm pointing out. It keeps crossing. This is strange. It, I never have... I know about lights and how they reflect in the cameras and things like this. But also, when entities are present, they, it, they, they uh, take part in that interplay between light and your camera. So sometimes I'm showing something and people are like, what are you looking at? What are you talking about? And the answer is, if you're serious about wanting to understand these type of apparitions, pay attention to what I'm saying. Otherwise, go to the next channel.